friends, neighbors, and of course, the YouTube comment section. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, we have another video today on power cons. Um, so I got an order uh, today for a power con in to out cable. Um, and I just did a video actually um, on the differences uh, between PowerCon and True One. So if you do want to check that out, just click the upper right hand corner of your screen. Um, but this is an interesting cable. Uh, this is uh, basically an in on one side and an out on the other. Um, so a lot of our distros that, uh, that we spec and a lot of our courtesy products um, do have uh, PowerCon outputs on them. So oftentimes, if I'm designing something, I will put PowerCon or True One outputs, even if the customer doesn't need them or ask for them, just because it's nice to have, just as a courtesy kind of thing. So for example, in my shop, I have a configurable uh, USB power um, and AC outlet uh, rack panel, which if you're interested in that, you can check the upper right-hand corner of your screen, uh, that has two PowerCons on it. And uh, I have one, um, power con that generally will feed a fourplex uh, courtesy power that, that charges all of my camera battery chargers and things like that. Um, and then the other thing uh, I have is if I'm building something on my desk that's a power con, um, I can use a link cable that's at the other side um, that is locking the, the white output and then blue on the other hand to power the device that I'm working on. Um, so if, you, if you'd like to build that cable, that's what we're going to build today. Um, so uh, just as a, a mention, if you'd like to buy it from me, you can. Um, just click the, uh, the link um, below and uh, maybe above at this point, depending on how, uh, how I've done with my editing. But anyway, let's get started. Um, so this is an eight-foot cable. The customer ordered an eight-foot cable. And when you buy this stuff from us, you can choose your cable length. Um, so we're going to start with the NAC3 FCB. This is the, um, the output side. Um, so this will just slide our back boot on first. So each of these connectors um, have two different cable um, glands here on the back. Uh, there's a black one and a white one. Uh, the black one works well for 12 gauge, which is what this is. This is 12 gauge SO. Uh, the white one is for thinner. Now you can smash the white one on here, but it, it's just kind of you don't need to. So um, we're going to slide this guy on. Now these do have a little cut in there so that if you forget about it, it's, uh, you can, you can kind of get it on there. But on the thicker cables, it's a little bit of a problem. Uh, so for these guys, what you want to do is once these are on, I like to just take a utility knife and I'll bend the cable a little bit in my hand like this. And then I'll make a cut. Now this is the scary part with building this. Um, if you cut too deep, you'll score your inner conductors, which you don't want to do for obvious reasons. So if you build a million cables like I do, you sort of just get the feel for it. So we'll cut these guys down. So these are just our little separators. So um, in the brand of cable that we're buying now, these are plastic. Sometimes they're cardboard. Uh, so once you have this cut, again, this is just a feel thing. I, I usually use my thumb as a, a measurement, and I'll just cut these down because, again, I've just built a million of these cables, and I know how long they should be. Um, so if you do look at the bag that this came into, or this came in, it does give you, um, they want you to strip 23 millimeters, and each of the conductors uh, need to be stripped 8 millimeters. So before anybody mentions that in the comment section, I know, <laughs> I just build a lot of these. So see how close I, I get. So I'm just going to use my little Klein catapult tool here. And this is 12 gauge cable. Okay, and then I just like to give these a little twist. And then, so here's the tricky part about building a power con. Uh, the screws in here are a posi drive. Um, they look like Phillips, they're not. I'm using a Phillips head screwdriver. I should be using a posi, but alas, that's where we're at today. So I just like to open these up. So on each of these, um, each of the conductors here are labeled L, ground, and N. 
L is your hotline, your black wire, N is your neutral, your white wire, and G or the, uh, the earth symbol is ground, your green wire. So we'll throw our hot in there first, even though we should start with our ground. Okay, and we'll do our neutral. Okay, so once you get your wires in here, what I like to do is just go over each screw and tighten them to make sure that they're really, really down. Ooh, that's a lot. So one of the tricky things about using a PowerCon connector is the way that the uh, connector holds the cable can allow it to pull out if you, if you aren't careful. And sometimes it's deceiving um, that your screws are tight when they're actually not. So um, just d definitely want to double check that sort of thing. Um, that is something that I talk about in the, uh, the difference between the uh, True One and uh, the PowerCon video. Um, so the next thing that you do want to do is you want to slide this little collar up. Um, so the way it, it, it builds the, it goes onto the connector with the connector upside down. So there's a little printed uh, little bit of text right here. But the way that you can you can think about it is if your your hotline is up and your neutral is down, there are these two little guides that go in right here. You want to make sure that that's in, and then you can just take your collar slide that up. So to build this connector, this is our, um, our, our secondary portion of the, uh, of the nut. Um, so if we look at this, there's four cuts in this connector. Uh, three are the same size and one is a little bit bigger. Um, so to build the connector, we'll look at, the, uh, at this portion right here and you can see that there is one locking tab that's larger than the other. So all we have to do is just match our larger cutout, which is this one right here, and spin it so that it goes in there like that. And then what you should be checking for here is you want to make sure that this black cord grip is, is gripping the cable, the outer jacketing, not the conductors on the inside. So if you've done that, you've, uh, you've built it correctly. Uh, and if, there's, if it's grabbing the conductors, you, know, you want to make sure that you, you address that. And the reason why that's important is that the little black piece that goes in there uh, won't grip enough. Uh, it won't grip the outer jacket, which is what makes the connection strong. Uh, it'll only grip the conductors. So it, one of the reasons uh, that people do like true ones over power cons is if that should happen, um, it, it's easier to pull the cables out of a power con than it is in a true one, um, just, just by the way that the cable is gripped. So you just want to make sure. I mean, obviously, it's very, very strong if you built the, the connector correctly. You just have to be careful of that. So that's our side one. So here at LM, we include a four and a half piece or four and a half inch piece of clear heat shrink with all of our cables so that if you want to put a label on it, you can, or you can cut it off and throw it away. Um, and then we also brand everything here. So this other secondary piece of um, clear heat shrink is for our ID label, which says LM Tour Systems. So then you're getting a fine, fine quality hand-built cable. Um, we are going to just build the uh, output power con uh, in the same way, or excuse me, the input power con in the same way. So uh, that will time lapse.
Okay, so now that we're terminated here, the last thing we do is we put a little rip tie on here so that you can wrap your cable nice and neat. And there we go. Here's our uh, PowerCon extension cable. Um, so, you know, if you would like to buy this, obviously you can. Uh, please, you know, help support me um, and, uh, you know, making videos and things like that. So you can check that out. Uh, link is below. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Really appreciate you guys uh, watching these videos. Bye.